Looking for a fun, new, exciting way to play fantasy sports? Make sure to check out FanDuel. Use code BENGAL at sign up for a $20 deposit bonus when you enter that code. It is the best and most fun way to play daily fantasy sports. I know I play fantasy football for the daily fantasy sports all the time. I can't really handle the grind of the season. So this is just the best way and the most fun way for me to play any type of fantasy sports. I've been doing it for a couple of years now and FanDuel is just absolutely the best. So make sure to use code BENGAL at sign up. $20 deposit bonus. And also, if you guys want to check out my second and third channels for other videos and games you might see with some of your other favorite YouTubers that I collab with. Make sure you check that out. Both links are in the description. Welcome back to another episode of Giants Franchise. Probably the only current face cam series on the channel. I don't think I'm going to be doing the NCAA stuff with face cam. And when I do Red Dead Redemption 2 on my second channel, as you guys I'm sure will know, is linked in the description. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing face cam on that either. And clearly I'm very self-conscious. And uh, I don't want to show my face. That's what it comes down to. Anyway, people have been asking me to bump Kyle Oletto's awareness just to show you guys what his overall would be. So it's at 61. It's going to stay at 61. But even if it went up to an 81, Kyle Oletto's overall would jump up. So we'll save the changes so you guys can see. With 81 awareness, nothing crazy, Kyle Oletto would be playing up to an 83 overall. So he's not terrible in game he has 93 throw power 83 deep accuracy 89 medium 86 short 83 throw on the run good enough throw under pressure and play action wish break sack was better obviously but kyle oletta is not terrible it's not like we're so in desperate need of a quarterback change that we have to do whatever it takes to get a new option in there but um yeah people have been asking for that for a while finally got around to doing it there is Kyle Aletta if his overall was bumped up. We do have some scouting points, though. Here are the quarterbacks. Tucker Searles, Aaron Cotterman, Jacoby Hansen are the top three. Two ACC options and an SEC option. And Tucker Searles. The rest, I don't know. I'm not really too fond of. We don't need a running back at all. Is this a new one? Justin Tam, have you been here? To be fair, I don't even know if I've looked at any halfback option. Still like Davey and Keel, although, were these numbers here last week? I didn't edit anything, I promise. I didn't, because I don't care enough to do that. I think it ruins the series. Dequarius Henry has A-plus medium route running, A-plus catching, and B-plus short route running at 6'4". Can ratings change over a season? No way they were here last time. Hold on. Gotta check last video. No, I'm looking at it right now. Dequarius Henry had B-plus medium route, B-plus catching, and B-plus short route running. So his medium route running went up from a B-plus to an A-plus, and catching went up from a B-plus to an A-plus. Have you guys ever seen this before? Because I haven't seen anything like this. Everything else I'm looking is the exact same. Everything else is the exact same, except for Dequarius Henry. That is so strange to me. Moses Davis out of Nebraska looks incredible. We'll watch him in case we need a tackle. Not that we're exactly in the market for a defensive tackle, but these top two, Khalid Ashley and Curry Khan, they look very, very good. Especially Curry Khan out of Florida State. But Khalid Ashley looks well-rounded and talented as well. It's a problem for me that... uh. I think we are in need of a cornerback, and none of these cornerback ratings went up, yet we don't necessarily need a wide receiver. And now, out of nowhere, Dequarius Henry goes from pretty good to insane to A-plus stats. Just wild stuff out here. But we do have some coach XP we could use before we get things going here. 5,000! I think it is time to do quarterback. Quarterback training boost. Will it end up being worth it? We are 8-5, and five, currently basically tied for the lead in the NFC East. We don't play any divisional uh, matchup. We don't have any divisional matchup, I should say. We don't play any team in our division throughout the entire rest of the season. We have, let's see here, Rams, Seahawks, Browns to end out the year. Potentially not three extremely easy games. 
So we're going to need to beat the Rams here. They are 7-6 and six, and 84 overall to our 92. This has got to be a win. I think we're going to make the playoffs. It's not a given. We need to win this division, I think. Kyle Aletta is going to lead out the three Giants that showed up to the game. What's going on here? All right, there they are. Kyle Aletta just wants to come out separately. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but it is a Monday night matchup. Giants, Rams. Of course, we got uh, Williams there as we are in the hunt for a spot. We don't have a spot right now in the playoffs. So we're trying to secure that here today. A win could very well put us at the top of the NFC East. That's what we're aiming for. Play action to Todd Gurley. Down the middle of the field is picked off by Morris Dubose. All ready to start this game. Teams are trying to get aggressive on us. And it seems like we almost have a turnover, or we do have a turnover, at the start of every single game. Morris Dubose, the lockdown cornerback, is the one who gets it done as Robert Woods was a target in double, maybe even triple coverage. What are they doing? We will take over on offense and maybe look to air it out deep to start this game. And we will. One-on-one. -on -one. Howard Russell makes the catch! Howard Russell. We've talked so much trash about him as maybe he's never really come into his own in the NFL so far over two seasons, but he has been putting on a show in these past couple of weeks. Howard Russell's been proving all the doubters wrong. We're going to scroll. We're going to run. Scramble. I meant to say scramble and roll turns into scroll. That's our new nickname for Kyle Aletta. He's no longer White Lightning or Vanilla Vic. He is now the mouse wheel. You guys know the scroll. I don't know what it's called. You scroll with it, though, on a mouse. There's a slant. Odell Beckham Jr. Touchdown. New York Giants out to a hot start so far. And uh, Odell molesting the field goal uh, post there. The, uh, the goal post. Goal. Why am I? Why does it feel weird that I'm saying it like that? Let's see if Jared Goff wants to try something else. Because... Whatever happened last drive was not it. I, I say drive, I almost hesitate. Because it was one play. They ran one play. And it was not very successful for them. Goff's going to throw this time wide open. Julius Manning will wrap him up. Landon Collins was there as well. But it's that Jared Goff connection getting it going. I believe that was Cooper Cup. It was 21 yards on the pickup. First and 15. We're going to send a little bit of heat at him. Todd Gurley behind Jameez Olawale is there in I form in the backfield. Cooks was the motion man. Todd Gurley has nowhere to go. Jalen Mills brings him down. Loss of one. Third and 15 now for the Rams. Approaching midfield. This is going to be a tough task against this defense as they have made able to move the ball already. And Jared Goff will just throw it away. And Los Angeles will punt. This Giants defense showing up today. This first half of the first quarter has looked way too easy to us. Hasn't really been a challenge at all as we check down to DeMar Jacobs. Kyle Lilla currently perfect today. 3 for 3, 48 yards and a touchdown, thankfully, to Howard Russell of all players. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Saquon! Didn't pick up the blitz at all. This is supposed to be patched, man. Doesn't even realize it's coming in. Third down and seven. Come on, offense. We're going to go to Saquon over the middle. That's a first down. Here's play action. That's open. It's going to be Sterling Shepard who holds on. What's going on here? No slider change, but the wide receivers all of a sudden want to hang out of the football? I love it. We haven't seen this all series, it seems. Sterling Shepard not dropping the ball. Odell not dropping the ball. Howard Russell not dropping the ball. This is awesome. Saquon breaking the tackle, but there's not much room to pick up. Back to the line. Here's another play action. And that is open over the middle again, Sterling Shepard. Down at the 14. Our offensive line is not holding up particularly well against these blitzes. We're trying to stop them, but we just haven't been that effective so far. So 
I mean, I'm lucky we haven't taken many sacks so far. As we get Saquon Barkley, the hurdle, career ender. Oh, he actually is injured. Oh, no. I shouldn't have said that. He's up, though. I don't know what's going on. Says he's injured. Maybe, maybe shouldn't have hurdled on that one. Here's Wayne Gallman now. And Wayne Gallman actually does have the easy touchdown. A lot of people wanted Wayne Gallman as running back, too. And we might consider that. As, oh, wow. Okay. Saquon Barkley has a foot fracture. He is out for the game and likely a lot more than that. That is unfortunate. Especially near the end of the season. Will we have Saquon Barkley out for the playoffs? I don't like that at all. In the meantime, we are going to make Wayne Gallman running back number two over the rookie, Carlos Kershaw. I think that's going to benefit us more in the short term because Wayne Gallman's just been better. He has been better. Rams haven't been able to do anything. Goff rolls out to his left, back to his right, looking for a target, and he finds one wide open. It's Cooper Cup. Another huge completion for the Rams to Cooper Cup. He has their only two catches on the entire game, and you got to wonder, where was Jalen Mills? Let's turn up the heat here on third down and nine. We are sending pressure. I guess you're going to be using with Olivier Vernon, the defensive lineman, trying to find something open, and it's a nice play. Derwin James breaking up the pass. The Rams are out of field goal range. They are going to pump the ball back. If they had the win with them, this is probably a makeable attempt. But they're just going to opt to punt it. And Hecker pins us. Not even pins us. He, that was basically a touchback. We're going to start the ball at the 18. That Saquon Barkley injury might be really, really bad. But we got Wayne Gallman. And Wayne Gallman stays on his feet. One of the best three-yard gains you're ever going to see. What is it about Wayne Gallman that Saquon doesn't even have? Carlos Kershaw doesn't have? It feels like Wayne Gallman plays on another level. It's unbelievable. Oh, that's pressure. But Odell's open and Odell holds on. Dude, what is up with our receivers catching the ball? I mean, I'm not complaining. But it seems like everything in our franchise is going our way this episode. The receiver gets way better. We wasn't even really looking at him, honestly. I still maybe even prefer Davy and Keel. We're going to go deep to Odell. We got him burned. Not going to hold on to that one, unfortunately. Good coverage. Third down and nine. Somebody get open. It's going to have to be a check down. It's Wayne Gallman for the first down. All right. Come on, Howard Russell. Go up and get it. He makes no real play on the football. And it's going to be picked off by John Johnson. We took a deep shot to the end zone. It doesn't end up paying off. I wish the ball wasn't that far over, but it is what it is. That's okay. That's bad. What is going on with Cooper Cup, man? This guy seems to be unstoppable. Jared Goff has four completions. At least three of them are to Cooper Cup. He's their entire offense right now. I also want to put an arm sleeve on Derwin James. He plays with him in real life, but when I started this franchise, the Madden team did not have him playing with a shooting sleeve. So I want to get that on. And what a play. It's picked off by Jalen Mills. Lorenzo Carter bashes it. Or bats it into the air. And Jalen Mills is fortunate enough to get his fifth interception on the season. And I don't like I don't know. It's only going to further perpetuate how many people think Jalen Mills is an absolute beast in this franchise. He gives up, I swear. Like Cooper Cup, who Jalen Mills has mostly been on, has given up like, I don't know, how many yards this game. As Howard Russell lays out and makes an incredible catch. This time he lays out. I like it. But Jalen Mills, he always seems to have an interception. He is five on the year, which is awesome for a cornerback. And it's like, I don't think he's that good, but he always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Like Marcus Peters. I said it last episode. Marcus Peters is is out here this game, and Laletta is sacked. Couldn't get my finger to R1 quickly enough. Third and 16. We're not getting it, but we can get into field goal range, maybe. Why? Well, I, don't, I don't know if we're certainly not getting it. Because we got Odell laying out. And that's very close to the first down. It's going to be fourth and one from the 39. We're not punting. Fourth and one. 
It's a QB draw. Vanilla Vic stays on his feet. First down. The chains move. Oh, we're going to stumble and go down in the backfield there. Failure is not an option with Vanilla Vic. Please go up and yank it. Oh my god, he caught it. Dude. I swear to god, I didn't change anything. How does Wayne Gallman catch that pass? Second and goal. We're going with another slant. It's Odell. Diving. Touchdown. You can't run man coverage on the goal line. Man press against Odell doesn't work. That's why you see me go to the slant so often. Because when they're in man press like that, there's nothing that they're going to be able to do against a guy like Odell with high release, high catch, high catch in traffic, high route running. You can't do anything about it. That's not good. That's going to be a broken tackle by Sharkhandrick West. Derwin James, I think, was the guy that couldn't wrap up. 17 yards on the pickup. Third and five. We need a stop here to continue the blowout. That's going to be dropped by Cup. Rams are looking very, very bad today. And did Odell drop that? Okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain because of what I got to go my way this, you know, so far. But how does Odell drop that catch? That's open downfield. It's Howard Russell. And Aletta misses deep. Oh, no. Okay. LA might have a chance to, uh... LA might have a chance to score here before half. 21 nothing is a whole lot better than 21 7. So I really need to stop. That's going to be our first sack of the entire game. The Roman soldier gets to him. Can you guys believe that? We've been dominating the Rams this much. That is our first sack of the game. Arguably our first pressure. Jared Goff has had so much time in the pocket. They're not running the ball, they just haven't been able to convert. I don't know how. Third and 11. Goff goes short. We have too much athleticism at that level of the defense. You're not going to be able to pick up the first down across the field like that. Here's Gallman. It's going to be the end of the first half. 21-0. It's a blowout right now. The Rams haven't been able to do anything against us. Our offense has been fairly dominant. Well, I would say dominant, even with the interception. We've just been cruising so far. Third and 18 from our own 17 after the sack. I'm honestly just trying to get a little bit more space before a punt. Seeing whatever is going to be open. We're just going to check down. It is the fullback, and he drops the ball. First down for the Rams. We're in the backfield. Heat-seeking missile at the quarterback. Bringing down Jared Goff. Third down and 15. Very familiar scene for the Rams here. And that is over the middle, a diving catch from Robert Woods. Okay. Get after Jared Goff. Come on, man. Dominant defenses do not let this kind of thing happen. We're sending pressure and another false start. Third and one. Step up defense. Sharkandrick West might be the best running back in the league behind Wayne Gallman. Like... This is unbelievable. Our defensive line can't wrap him up. Another open guy. <sighs> That's another open guy. Who is that? I don't even know what that name says. Jared Goff. Seemingly finding everybody on the field this drive. Tylski. Tilski. I don't know who that is. Second one. It's a handoff. Get to the outside. Yeah, you guys guessed it. Sharkandrick West. First down and 10. We're probably going to look to chew up a lot of clock in this quarter. But that doesn't mean we're going to get complacent. We still want to pick up yards. I still want to score. Just, we're going to be a little bit more conservative than we have been. The start of this game, we were super, super aggressive. But chew clock's coming on. This is a game we need to win. I'm not messing around. That's open over the middle. Howard Russell continuing a great day. He might be up near 100 yards right now, if not over. Rolling out with Laletta. Finding time. Finding a receiver. It is Odell Beckham. As Laletta eclipses 4,000 yards, the successor of Eli Manning, proving that he is a talented option in this Giants quarterback room. 28-7 now. 
in favor of the Giants. The Big Blue Wrecking Crew is back. That's play action. And that is open. It's Hollister this time. Jared Goff, besides these two interceptions, one of them was very, very lucky. One of them was stupid. It has been very good today. Really has been. Third and one. Can we stop Sharkandrick West? It's our other bane of our existence. Cooper Cup, easy first down. Sharkandrick West is averaging over seven yards per carry. That's ridiculous. And that's after only a two yard pickup. And we can't even bring him down here with Roman Pugh. He picks up seven after a broken tackle. It's looking a lot more like 28 to 14 after the success of this Rams team than the 21 nothing that it was earlier. They're starting to come back a little bit and that is not my favorite. We're gonna use her Alex Espinoza on this one. It's a pump draw. We got him. This time, Sher Kendrick West is shut down. If I'm the Rams here, I go for it, and they are going to. Fourth and four. That's over the middle. Wide open. Robert, or excuse me, not Robert. Is Brennan Cooks takes the hit over the middle, holds on to the ball. And that's another open receiver. Lorenzo Carter bats the ball away. I thought he was open, but Carter made a nice play on the football. Dallas beat Cleveland today, 31-14, so we really cannot let this game slip away. We need to win very badly. It is another third down. We're bringing back the great wall of Carter to cover Sharkandrick West, and that is nearly intercepted by Alex Espinoza. He makes a nice play on the football, and this time the Rams will go for it again. Come on, get after Goff. He throws, and it's knocked away. It's not even Jalen Mills in man coverage. It's Derwin James who made a play on the ball. We are backed up basically to our own end zone. Let's just get out of this position, chew some clock, win this football game. It's on you, Wayne Gallman. That's no good. And Su, and I didn't, I don't know, I didn't like the way I said that. And Su uh, makes a tremendous play there to bring down Wayne Gallman to the backfield, and we're looking at third and eleven. It might just be another check down, kind of third down. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Wayne Gallman gets us a little bit better punting position, but we don't really make much of the turnover on downs. That's a pretty deep punt. It's going to bounce. Oh my goodness. What a punt from Kendall Newfeld. He downs the Rams at their own two. Woods in motion. We're going to try to get in the backfield. We can't. Sure, Kendrick West takes a hit, but I mean, he's averaging like six yards per carry, so he's going to do that a lot to us, I guess. And that's wide open. Dubose and man coverage getting exposed right there. I don't like to see that very much. Oh, and it's picked off by Lorenzo Carter. That's game. The Great Wall of Carter. You can't get anything by him. His fifth pick on the season. How do you even get it past him, honestly? He's huge. He's fast. His coverage is getting better by the day. Lorenzo Carter continues to be an absolute animal for us. Third and two for Gallman. I think a field goal pretty much puts this game away anyway. As Gallman is stood up. Aaron Donald and Hager make the stop. But yeah, I think that's it. I think it's field goal time. Field goal is up and good. 31-7 in favor of the New York football Giants. Four minutes to play. And then this game is over. That's a throw on the run for Cup. How is he so open every time? I don't I don't get that. Six receptions, 131 yards. Some of that's on Jalen Mills. Not all of it. Not all of it. Some of it is, though. How do you have so much time with the balls out? The sack from Roman Pugh recovered by Olivier Vernon, who has been uncharacteristically quiet today. That is the game. Four turnovers for the Rams. And that actually pops up. It's very good timing with that statement. I like that a lot. 
But yeah, this game's over. Wayne Gallman now has a little bit of room. The juke back. And that's that's gonna be all she wrote. It's three minutes. It might as well not even matter. First and goal. Oh, I threw that too late, but Odell's on it. He was looking at other options, but if he's gonna burn any type of press coverage, we're gonna go right back to him. He's been actually, maybe quietly to some of you guys and to me, I think a monster, monster day. I always say dame instead of game or day. I can never decide, and it always comes out in a in in dame. I got Damian Lillard behind me on the wall. I don't know if that you guys can see that, but a monster game. I think he has three touchdowns. Oh, they're gonna punt. Ugh. They're giving up. I don't blame them. It is 38 to 7 now. Dubose taking off. Look at that speed. And that's Wayne Gallman up the middle. Doesn't really matter at this point. That will be the final play of the game. Pretty much domination here at MetLife Stadium as the offense has now officially eclipsed 400 yards. Not crazy, but pretty damn good. Pretty much pure domination from this Giants team. Jared Goff looked great and then terrible and then great and terrible. It was a really odd mix. Kyle Laletta was good, though. Four touchdowns, only one interception. Wayne Gallman, solid per usual. Sharkandrick West was really tough to stop, but we shut him down near the end of the game. Couldn't really go anywhere. Uh, even Carlos Kershaw wasn't bad, but Saquon Barkley is a major, major loss for this team. I'll update you guys at the end of this video. Actually, it'll be a nice cliffhanger. You guys will see next week uh, how his injury went. But Odell Beckham Jr., four touchdowns? Damn. I guess I threw to him a lot in the red zone. Four touchdowns for Odell. Cooper Cup was dominant. Howard Russell, three catches, 94. He really is just a deep threat, which I don't mind. Sterling Shepard kind of plays the same way, too. The offensive line overall was okay. Dylan Simmons, their left tackle, was the only that guy that let up sacks. As um, Roman Pugh only giving credit for one and a half. Dalvin Tomlinson got the other half. And we did get a sack with Derwin James. That isn't counting for whatever reason. Interceptions for Lorenzo Carter, Jalen Mills, and Morris DuBose. And forced fumble for Roman Pugh. Recovery by Olivier Vernon. Zero defensive touchdowns, but that Saquon Barkley loss it might be the biggest loss of all. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. I am excited for the end of the season, but that Saquon Barkley injury hurts tremendously. <laughs> but um, no pun intended. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.